Here we have a 2015 15-plated Audi Q5. It's an S-Line Plus Quattro. It's got a two-litre diesel engine, 150 brake horsepower. It's got a six-speed manual gearbox. This has been my family car. My wife used this to run my kids around. That was loose when we got it. It was one company owner when I bought it from new. And we've had it for 13 months. There's two owners in total, one previous on the V5. Got 20 inch alloys on it. A little bit curbs on the front. A small hole in the bottom of the bumper here. It was also there when I bought it. A bit of just general wear and tear inside. It's an 119,000 mark, 119 for full history. We done a cam belt on it last year, so had a cam belt change. I think the tax off the top of my head is 210 pounds a year. About 18 pounds. It's got electric boot, which you can do with the key just because it's running. If both the keys are in it, so excellent size boot. I've got three kids and a dog, so boot size was essential. We've got the um, electric close button there, so the boot is all electric. Two keys. I only beeps when the doors open because the keys are in the vehicle. So yes, yeah, an 119 554. It's not being used now, so um, that shouldn't change. Got a navigation system in there. Sub in the back, which is quite good. Nice and loud, actually, the sub, I must say. All this is. Um... <laughs> So we like your music, it does sound good, I must say. Um, six speeds, got electronic handbrake, air conditioning, parking aid there. Electric mirrors and windows, auto lights. You can control the sat nav volume here, volume to the stereo. Cruise control just below here, which is working perfect. Used it this morning. Other bits of wear and tear is a clip here. So where that would clip on there, that broke. That was me. As soon as I only had it about a week, to be honest, went to put the... Uh, Sun visor down and it broke. And just on this silver bit in the middle here, there's quite a lot of dents on it. You see, a bit of wear and tear. Just trying to be honest, I don't want no one to turn me disappointed of it. Um, have a look on the Auto Trader. This is cheap. There you go, that's where I bought it from. Alphabet Group. So I've kept the V5, the newest V5's in here, so I've got the latest V5 here, registered to, to my address. MOT is till August. Um, so it's done 6,000 miles. The only thing was my child seats are in the back. I got this service printout from Audi from the uh, leasing company when I bought it. So it had all the history up to, and the last service then was 95991. I bought it on 110. I think there's one, two, three, five services on there. I rung Audi because the car was um, five years old when I bought it just to say, had they done a cam belt? They hadn't. Which is why we done one, but they did tell me on the phone that December just gone, they'd done a, a clutch and flywheel. I rung them in April last year, so December previous would have been December 19. In May 19, there it was on 97,000, so I've guessed it about 103. It had a clutch and flywheel at Audi. You can ring him yourselves to find out about that. Um, wipers were replaced, um, that was November last year. Here we go, cam belt, water pump. Um, and the front wiper blades, that was obviously the rear one. And the oil filter, so we changed the oil on it as well then. So 113 in July last year, had a cam belt, water pump, front wiper blades, and the service done. So that's the last service for it. Um, this is the most recent thing I've done to the vehicle. So the 7th of March this year, just over a thousand miles ago, front and rear brake pads, pudgets, and the um, and the sensor obviously. Worked massively did, 97 quid, and I think I paid my mechanic 40 quid to fit him. So it was 140 quid for brake pads, front and rear. Um, December, oh, sorry, that's a lie. September, sorry, September last year, the glow plugs needed replacing. I don't know why I didn't print off. I had a set of glow plugs, they were quite expensive in the end, actually. Because, um, this one here where my finger is, it takes three normal Bosch ones, which weren't a problem, they were 38 quid. You can see that. Then the top one had a special sensor on it, 114 quid. That was actually the wrong one they sent me. I had to take it back and get another one. I think it ended up costing me 200 quid for that one in the end, but it's been done, so that was done. Um, I think it was done in October. I got the bits in September. I had to get a part chain, so I think that was actually done in October last year. Um, that was a printout that was on in the vehicle when I got it as well. But obviously, I requested one from Audi, which had a bit more detail on it. 
averages 41 miles to the gallon average so it's 38 on there but i've used it for a lot of short runs recently um but yeah when it's when it's been used for everything it's um about 41 miles per gallon um two keys so you got one two keys both in full working order said about the boot being electric so if you hold that middle button in the boot uh, in sorry the boot will open so let's test that's quite handy if you've got kids and your hands full and stuff so that's that's all that as i said bodywork wise um this was loose when i bought it it's never got any worse it's clipping back in done it all bit of, bit of glue alloys are a little bit curved and you've got that little hole in the um, front bumper other than that nice car really nice car <clears throat> it did have a private plate on it we've just took our private plate off of it if you need that red for anything else that's fine i don't think it had much work or any work done on that red anyway i think even when we mot'd it i think the private plate was only on it maybe three to four months we didn't have it on the whole time we owned it that's now going on the um the new car anyway stop waffling on average car average condition great price in my opinion have a look on auto trader for a 15 plate s line plus quattro this one's 11,490 quid or very 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 close offer i looked on there i mean mine has got a few miles in it i must confess but the cheapest manual one i could find was 14,250 quid on this year with 90 odd thousand on it mine's done 40,000 more than that I said, uh, even ones with 160 odd K on it were 11 grand. This is a giveaway. Thank you for watching.